Hello, I'm Roland Liebschebracht, and I'm going to show you a neck routine. If you have neck problems or want to prevent them, do this routine often, it helps. Sit on a chair or any comfortable place where you can sit nice and upright, and we'll start by putting both hands on top of the skull. And slowly and gently, but clearly, keep pulling your head down forward. It's best to lean in if you can, or if not, keep your back nice and straight. And pull your head further and further forward without bending your thoracic spine. And then you notice that there is more and more tension in the back of your neck. Maybe it even burns a little bit. All of that is perfectly okay, and we want it to be. It just shouldn't be so much that you have to somehow counter tension to endure it. So it has to be just fine, loosely bearable, a clear, feel-good pain. And you keep pulling down. And now you leave everything as it is, but you pull the head upwards very carefully against the hands and increase. This tightens exactly where you feel the stretch. And then you let go of that again, the counter stretching, and pull the head down a little bit more. And now you notice that the stretch becomes more intense. And then you do that again. The head wants to go up. You hold it, you increase that. You still hold it tight. The head must not move. You take the force out again and pull the head down further once more. And now, breathe in deeply, out deeply, a little further into the stretch, and try out how much you can still bear. And then you slowly let go. Pull your head down again under your own power and come back up. So, now we have cleared everything at the back. Now we'll do it the other way around. Now we're going to take the head back. You stay like this, put your hand on your forehead, guide your forehead a little bit and go further and further back. You might get to the point much earlier than me. You have that feeling that it hurts too much and it's stuck. Then stay at this point so that you don't go beyond this point where you can just bear it well. And otherwise, you go further and further back. You also notice that your throat tightens. And when you close your mouth, it tightens all the way into the base of your tongue. It helps your voice sound good too, by the way. If your voice is engaged, then the exercise also helps your voice sound better again. Tighten up all the muscles here on the front right now. If you have to swallow, you only go out briefly, swallow and go back in again. And now you press your forehead against your fingers, very, very gently, very carefully. And let go and go further in. And press against it again. Let go and go further in. Very carefully, you notice how it keeps giving way. And then you open your mouth a little bit, go further, then close it. Then you notice how everything stretches nicely here. And then you slowly come out again. 
especially with these spine or cervical exercises, move very slowly and carefully. You notice that it already feels different. Now you look to the left, 45 degrees, pull your left arm down with your left shoulder, reach your hand above your head, a little bit back and pull your head forward down to the right, so towards your right knee. Pull the chin nicely towards the neck. Keep pulling. The left shoulder down. The head lower and lower. And then you notice the stretch at the back of the left neck. Couple the stretching nicely with your breathing. And then you tense against, against the right hand, the head. But at the same time, you pull the left shoulder deeper and deeper. Or if it doesn't go any deeper, then you hold it down. Take out the counter tension and stretch again. And again, tense your head against your holding hand. At the same time, pull your left shoulder nice and deep. Take the force out again and pull a little bit more. Make sure that the thoracic spine is nice and straight, that it's not bent forward. And press against the holding hand again. At the same time, keep the shoulder deep. And let it go and pull a little further. and release the hand from the head, the right one, and pull the head again by your own strength towards the right knee. And come out again. And look 45 degrees to the right. By the way, if you know other people with neck pain and they don't have this video, share it so that it spreads and people can help themselves. Can't give a better gift to someone who has neck pain than to send this link. Pull right shoulder down. Chin up to the larynx and pull down. Towards the left knee. Keep pulling down. Use the breath and look for the point where you can just bear the intensity of the stretch without straining against it, without holding your breath. Pull the right shoulder down. Check whether the thoracic spine is still straight. And pull the head further and further. And observe how it gives way more and more. And then you stretch the head to the right back up. But hold it again. Release the force and go deeper into the stretch. Further in. Right shoulder nice and deep. Pull the head nice and deep. And push back again, up.
Increase, release the force and continue to pull down. Continue to pull down. And then release the hand and once again, under your own strength, draw the right shoulder down and draw the head down forward and to the left. And up again. Do you notice how this is getting freer and freer? And now we'll go one better. Now sit up straight again and pull the head down again. As before in the first exercise. Trigger the slight burning close to the cervical spine, which is typical for this stretch. And then you take your left hand more around the head to the right. Let go with the right, pull your shoulder back and down. And with your left hand, you pull your head more and more to the left. Keep pulling to the left. The right shoulder must not move with it. On the contrary, it must be pulled back to the right. And the head further and further down to the left. It's nice to increasingly feel how the stretch is now triggered deep inside. Don't forget to breathe. As soon as you hold your breath, it's too intense. That must not happen. You must always be able to remain completely relaxed. And now you pull with your head against it to the back top right. But hold it tight. Don't pull anymore. Take the force out and pull the head further to the front bottom left. And more and more to the side. Right shoulder back, head to the left. And then you let go and pull the head again under your own power while it stayed down to the left. Bring both hands to the back of the head. And when you've released the stretch, you reach around to the other side. Draw the shoulder down. And the head to the right. And keep breathing into the stretch. Increase on the exhale. Inhale, stand still. Exhale allows more stretch. And then pull the head to the left and up. Tense that strand that's being stretched and release the force and keep pulling. Down and to the right. Left shoulder nice and deep. Keep going into the stretch. And slowly come out again. And while you're enjoying your relaxation, I'll show you something else. I'm going to lay down here for a very short time on our wonderful neck hero. Ah, you can do that after this routine. But you can also do it in the evening to rest, to enjoy yourself a little bit more. Watching TV, reading, making it casual. You then stretch your neck 
and you press the edge into when you lie with your skull on it, exactly the points that relax your neck muscles, which are always so tense through this osteopressure effect. That's wonderful. <sighs> lie on it and you will understand. Click here and you'll find a video explaining neck pain, how they come about, and why what we do works so well. Click the link above to download our free guide to neck pain. You'll discover everything you need to know about neck pain and get more pain-relieving exercises you can do at home. Bye. See you next time.